Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Mind Manager 2016 for Windows. In this video I'm going to show you how to use its ribbon toolbar which contains a wealth of tools and commands to help you create and manage your mind maps. If the toolbar of Mind Manager 2016 looks familiar to you, it should. It's designed with the same look and feel as the one in the current version of Microsoft Office. Commands are grouped functionally to make it easy for you to find what you need quickly and easily. Let's start with the File tab, which is right here. This is where you create new mind maps, open existing ones, print them, export them, and access Mind Manager's options. As you can see, it also gives you fast access to the mind maps you have recently opened. To return to the main program window, simply click on the large left pointing arrow right here. The Home tab gives you fast access to the most commonly used commands such as adding topics, subtopics, and floating topics and embellishing them with icons, links, attachments, and notes. Next is the Insert tab. As its name implies, the primary focus of this tab is adding content to your mind maps. The Task tab enables you to convert topics into tasks and add basic task information without opening up the task management side tab. It also gives you access to more advanced task management functions such as rolling up task information and displaying a Gantt chart of your tasks. If you want to change the look and feel of your mind map, the design tab is the place to do that. You can quickly apply themes to alter your map's overall appearance, set map background color or image, align topics with each other, apply fill and line colors to topics, adjust your map's layout, and other design related commands. The Advanced tab, as its name implies, gives you access to some of Mind Manager 2016's most powerful features, such as adding formulas and auto calculation to topics, adding spreadsheets and Excel ranges to them, exporting tasks and appointments from your mind map to Microsoft Outlook, and more. The Review tab contains functions that are similar to the document review capabilities of Microsoft Word. It enables you to track changes that others make to your mind map add comments, accept or reject changes, and more. This really enhances Mind Manager 2016's capabilities as a collaboration tool. Finally, the View tab is where you can convert your mind map to an outline, view linked mind maps, create presentations, filter the contents of your mind map, and focus in on a topic. The last command is really interesting. Basically, if you select a topic and focus on it, everything else in your mind map temporarily disappears so you can concentrate on developing a single idea at a time without distraction. When you're done building out that section of your mind map, you can then focus out to once again view your full mind map. Filtering is important when trying to manage the contents of large, complex mind maps. For example, you can filter the contents of your map so it displays only tasks or you can define a filter that only displays topics containing a red flag icon. Mind Manager's filtering capabilities are very powerful. Now that you understand how to use Mind Manager 2016's ribbon toolbar, why not watch the other videos in this series to learn about the other aspects of this program's many powerful tools and capabilities.